Compared to what the IDP camp looked like years back when it was first discovered in the forest of Uhogwa community in Obia Northeast local government area of Edo State, the place seems to be wearing a new look with a health center, school buildings and other ongoing projects. Speaking with Liberty TV crew, the coordinator of the camp, Pastor Solomon Falonsho, said one of the major challenges of the camp, which accommodates mostly internally displaced persons from the northeastern Boko Haram ravaged states, is food. Adding that although they have enjoyed a part of the federal government's initiative on relief material distribution, it is never enough. So far, so good. I, I'm, I'm grateful to God and grateful to Nigerians and good people who have come from different parts of the world to make contributions. I'm also grateful to the government. Uh, there are always challenges, but we have been able to uh, manage what we have or what we get to do. In most cases, it's not enough, uh, but we've been able to manage it to care for them. That's why you see they are very happy, they are looking good, but there are so many challenges that are always there. For example, uh, this is a, they are just starting school on Monday and they are all moving to a new uh, school calendar year. So which means they need test books, all of them. They need notebooks. So that's a big challenge at the moment. And then food again is always a challenge. We are running out of food at the moment and so we use this medium to play with the government to remember us and like they promised that there's going to be a fourth phase and we hope that they still include us like they did in the... Feuding uh, questions on possible relocation going by news of calmness in the northeast. Some of the children say they are happy here. They also appealed for provision of educational materials as they are about to resume school after the long holidays. Definitely, I'm living so fine and I thank God for everything. Yes. Uh, I want to appreciate uh, our pastor, uh, Pastor Solomon, for all that he's uh, helping us educationally, financially, and he's helping us uh, providing whatever we need. As our parents are taking care of us, so as he is taking care of us. So uh, I thank God for everything. Where are you from? I'm from Borno State. Okay, good. If I ask you to come and go back to Borono tomorrow, will you go? Definitely. By now, I will not go because uh, there are some certain things that is still happening, which I do not uh, believe that uh, everybody have go back to the Borno State. We need some things in this compound. But the, some things is materials for the school, and the, some children need uniform and a pair of sandals and socks. Mm -hmm. And also we need help for the money to build some house, hostel for the children. Meanwhile, the IDPs are patiently awaiting the arrival of relief materials from the Nigerian government following recent directive by President Muhammad Buhari that the Nigerian Customs Service should be distributing seized rice and other relief materials in their warehouses to IDP camps across the country. In Benin, Nafisa Bello, Liberty News.